here's Pikmin. We're doing it. It's been too long. Okay, oh, we're still... Hang on, I gotta change the thing here. So, welcome back to Pikmin 4. It has been a while, and, uh... I've been eager to jump back into this. I'm hoping this week I'll get a chance to play Pikmin more than once. So that will be good. We'll get some good Dandori here tonight. <laughs> Pinkman Floyd. How many times has Pink Pick Mussy been said in chat? I wonder if that's going to get me demonetized. Okay, so we did that cave. That was the last thing that happened. So... I think also up here, right? There's something up here. There's an... onion. I can't do anything with this onion yet. Um, there were some casualties last time I played the game. Couple casualties. Climbing stick extended. Okay, let's make sure um, there are no more obstacles here that could get my Pikmin killed. I think we're okay for the moment. Alright, now we can grab a bunch of stuff. Yes, you too, dog. I still need blue Pikmin. Um, oh, I remember a lot of my special Pikmin the, you know, the, the rare ones, the ones that are hard to find, those died. I remember that now. That was really fucking cool, wasn't it? Well, let's just do some work here and grab a couple things that are nearby. Oh, I need yellow Pikmin for that. Yo, Mr. White! Jesse Pickman. You can use the dog to knock the, the thing down? Vinny, I've never played a Pikmin game. When does the Resonance Cascade happen? Oh, that... that happened right in the beginning. You missed it. Carry that shit. Vinny... You... Uh, can you get the blue onion now? I don't know. I'm gonna try.
Where's my dog? No, blue onion still, still water. Ochi went on like some kind of impossible mission. The impossible, the impossible mission was opening a week before the double movie phenomenon. Your mission is to reach over a hundred million in sales in the first weekend. Actually, probably way more than that for how much m movies cost. I think we are... I, not that this is necessary to talk about during Pikmin, but... The, um, the movie bubble is really kind of bursting a little bit in regards to, like... How expensive these fucking movies are to make versus how much they make. And, like, how risky it is. And, like, people are getting sick of franchise movies, I'm seeing. Ochi can dig up the onion and drain the water. Oh, thanks, dog. The new Mission Impossible is also somehow a two-parter. I don't know why. I've, I've heard a theory that... Before Tom Cruise got too old and was carried off on a spaceship to, uh, Scientology planet. That maybe he wanted to, like, oh, you can't have Ochi go up there. Um, that they wanted to, like, kind of strike while the iron was hot and, like, film... more? It's just something I read. I don't know how true it is, but... who knows. Um, as for the- the movie itself was fine, it's just... Yeah, it's like... Really, really poorly timed opening. How many are they- are they up to? This is number seven. They don't number them, because it's bad for the algorithm. Okay, but jokes aside, that's actually true on YouTube. Numbering your videos is, like, a pretty bad thing to do. I've discovered. I mean, we're still gonna do it, but I, we also are gonna probably end up, like, for certain videos, like, corruptions, you know, give them, like, a specific, uh, theme. Because if something is, like, number 50, People are way less likely to want to watch that. Exactly, Jeff. I get it. It makes sense. Especially for something like Corruptions. You don't... There don't... Like, for Corruptions and, like, getting weird with it, there doesn't really need to be a number. That could just be... Um, a title, and then the number could be in the description. So, like, I understand, but also... It makes sense that a movie may, um, would also just get rid of a number. I mean, hell, fucking Pikmin is up to Pikmin 4. Does any other Nintendo franchise still use numbers? That's Metroid Prime. We're doing Metroid Prime 4, but otherwise we got, like, Metroid Dread. Stuff like that, you know? Oh, Spalton. That's right, Spalton still does numbers. And it does numbers. That game fucking sells. Mario Kart. Yeah, Mario Kart's weird, though. Mario Kart being called Mario Kart 7 and then 8 is so fucking weird. Considering they didn't use numbers for a long time. They were doing Mario Kart Wii, Mario Kart Double Dash... Yeah, Mario Kart DS, it's just, 
even um, Mario Kart on the like the next one was 64. So we went from 64 down to 8. My favorite is when they remove numbers and bring it back for the next sequel. Which again, does happen. As we've just discussed. Mortal Kombat 11. Yeah. That's why I think Pink Floyd should have released Dark Side of the Moon 2. And they would have sold a lot more albums. A darker side of the moon. <laughs> Too dark, too side. Oh, Fast and Furious has the worst numbering and naming scheme of all time. No question about it. The Fast and the Furious. The Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. Fast. Furious. Fast. X. <laughs> too fast, too furious. Ultra spicy berries. The overall speed of Pikmin and Ochi. Okay. This nipple? This, this nipple? What? what? Oh, spicy. Uh-oh. Chat, there's one Pikmin. Somewhere. One Pikmin is somewhere. Where is it? Oh. One soul. Yeah, that doesn't interrupt work. Think of it this way, chat. We just fed the circle of life. That crab is now going to sleep well. Having eaten a delicious red Pikmin. And that crab should die. What makes the Pikmin so much more valuable of a life than the crab? Because we ascribe cuteness to one creature over another? Oh, that's the reason. Oh. Boy. We need to find our pilot. We got dog dog lore. Dog. Dog lore. Do you want to watch some dog lore at the Pikmin game, Dogleth? 
Dorglyph. Check out this Dorglaw. Come here, Dorglyph. We're gonna watch Dorglaw together on the VHS on the VCR. Gee, Mr. Dink, I don't want to watch that. You have to. Gee, Mr. Dink, that's oh. vaguely threatening. No, it's not. Watch a little... Dog lore. New prototype, eh? Wait, this is a quality Mr. Dink bit? I don't think it is. But if you like it, great. Man, this stuff is expensive. The homesick signal is good. Oh, when they go missing, that'll bring them back to the ship. Well, I can't afford- well, I can't afford it, but... Um... Can you go? That would have saved that one red Pikmin. That's a shame about that red Pikmin, don't you agree? I know a fine terrier when I see one, Douglas. And that's why I want you to watch this tape. I call it the Black Spine Edition. That's right, Douglas. I'm gonna put you on a wheel. And whatever you point to is gonna be the tape we watch. All of it is dog-related. It's a torture device for the modern age. Ha <laughs> ha! Gee, Mr. Dink, I don't- I don't want to watch dog lore tapes with you. That's kind of weird. I, I- Why do you even want me to do this? You broke my grill, Douglas. You owe me contrition. This is my form of retribution. I will make your life a living hell. Have you not- Have you not- Any decency, Douglas? Watch the dog lore videos with me, Douglas! Douglas, I don't know if you know this, but I'm actually your father. That's not true, Mr. Dink. My father is here. He's home right now. I inseminated your mother, Douglas. Martha Funny. Not so funny now, huh? The conception was beautiful. You should have been there, Douglas. Under the moonlight. The light of a grill. We watched dog VHS tapes. Competition, Douglas. How do you feel about dog competition? The fastest. The most graceful of all the canines. Completing obstacles. A true test of power and strength. Mr. Dink, I mean, I mean, Mr. Dad, you're scaring me. Search your feelings, Douglas. You know it's true.
Chat, there's no more mold beer left. I have no mold in my system right now. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this bit, chat. No. Competition fine periods. Someone just said, unfortunately, this is not his worst bit. Hmm. Hello? <laughs> Doug, did you shit your diaper? Did someone say diaper? Why isn't Pikmin's laying all sexy, though? Chat. No, I'm- look at the bottom right. Where it says zero, above the five over forty. Why is there, like, sexy Pikmin lay down? Oh, I see the blue onion. We gotta get that. Oh, I guess we'll do this first. Douglas, do you embrace Dandori? <laughs> oh, there's a bonus object. Okay. Double points. I still don't see the, the point of this being split screen. It's so you can cheat? Oh, so we can screen look. Alright, fine, that, that's a reason. even know how valuable the strawberry is. They, they have no idea what they're missing out on. Oh, little baby bulb orbs are worth more money now. Oh. 
Wait, are they dead? No, they're not dead. They're just they're just resting. I would very much like to, uh, insert into the onion. <laughs> Why did that dude just sound like Adam Sandler for a second? for that. My dog. Oh no! Oh gee, what have I done? as possible, as quickly as possible. I win. It's literally Adam Sandler baby speak. How did you win? Oh, superior Dandori. Clearly. Boy, up until a couple weeks ago, I hadn't heard that word ever. And now I can't stop saying that word. No, that's not mold-related. Mold. Douglas, have you ever felt the mold within your lungs and your esophagus? It's good for you. I recommend eating expired frozen pizzas. That's the quickest way to get the mold within your stomach. But when you think about it, isn't that just mushrooms? Like, you're pretty much just, what, ingesting...
Well, not mold, but I mean. Never mind. Hmm. Chat, I don't really know how to get up there. To get the blue onion. You need to freeze the water. I don't think I have enough um, ice pigment to do that. Need 30. won't show you which Pikmin are in... Oh. It will. Do a new cave? Just hop into a cave and get some more. Do you want some more? They're in the onion. Well, I don't have 30 ice Pikmin. I think I could just do this real quick. Go in the cave, get some ice Pikmin, then leave. Paging Mr. Herman. Mr. Herman. I didn't understand that. Like, specifically why he then had a deep voice that was clearly not his own. But it still made me laugh almost harder than anything else in the movie. But I kind of in... Like, my intuition, even as a child, knew it was funny and... That there was something to it, and then as I got a little older, I, I realized what it was, and it was even better. Like, there are so many things in that movie that, as a kid, were pretty funny, and then as an adult, were even more funny. Mr. Urban. Like, we can't use this guy. We can't use this guy's voice in the movie. I don't know, overdub him. Um, where's the next... Wait, is this the exit, or is this the next level? Back, that's back to surface. Wait a minute, why, um... Okay. You can have the dog leave. I'm very confused. Dog war, dog war, dog war. Douglas. You know, Doug, has anyone ever told you that your name sounds a bit like Bog?
Why does Mr. Dink ask Douglas to sit on his chair if he's his father? Alright, listen. It's a normal chair. There's nothing weird about the chair. The, the chair is normal. There was never anything weird about that chair. Other people made the chair weird. You said there's a hole, though. Alright, well, a lot of couches have- and chairs have holes. No. What, chat? You've never seen an old couch before with a hole in it? And Mr. Dink is a little egotistical, so he makes all of his stuff look like him. I like how I'm now elaborating on a 12-ish year old bit. More like five? No. Mr. Dink has been a part of my subconscious and streams for like 10, 10 years. I think Sin means the chair. Okay, the, the Dink chair is prob- yeah, okay, fair enough. Fair enough, that's probably like closer to five. My se I'm sorry, my sense of time is like completely skewed and fucked up. Convenient that this cave has more ice pikmin. Vinny, if you, do you ever wonder if instead of Ralph you used Grey Leno back then when you started your popularity might have never gone up? <laughs> I have never thought of that. So that, yeah, I can safely say that is a hypothetical I've never put myself through. Um, I'm also going to say I don't think Ralph is the reason I have viewers. But I also, I feel like Grey Leno at that time would have probably made me more, more popular on the internet. Because at that time, that bit would have been completely new and original. And not annoying and terrible. Classic bit. Sick. 
Sizzle Floor. Sizzle Floor sounds like something in a Japanese game show. That they would make a bunch of guys go through. While their mouths are ta like taped shut. And they can't laugh. Or breathe. Like the Sizzle Floor Challenge. And they're also... Oh, and there's also bad smell air. fun sound effects happening here. Would you be selling Vine Sauce DVDs in Times Square in an alternate reality? I guess so. That, like, that alternate reality being, like, 2003. Before YouTube and, and bandwidth was good enough. Yeah, I would, I would probably be, like, Putting Grey Leno on DVD. <laughs> Treat injuries with Yanni. And Laurel, too. You think Spider-Man would be there? What if, instead of Spider-Man, there was some other superhero? One of the 30,000 superheroes that exists. But Spider-Man wasn't the one that got super popular. And so Times Square is... A bunch of Elmos. Some other superhero. This is the worst hypothetical. This is pointless. I don't have anything else. We're just gonna end that bit right there. Skibbity Toilet Man? <laughs> Ray Leno, in parentheses, superhero. Vinny, your bit made my cat throw up. Well, this is dog lore, after all, and not cat lore. I don't know how to get, uh, the dog up, up there. Yes, I do. I mean, there already have been skibbity, um, toilet, like, shitty plushies that someone made in their basement to make a quick buck that look terrible. So there's gonna be a lot more of that. I think, like I said, I can usually gauge something's popularity by, um, there were two times in my life when I was really genuinely surprised to see something. Specifically at the Jersey Shore. <laughs> and those two times were one was Baldy from Baldy's Basics, who actually got a toy line. And the reason it's shocking is because that for me was just some random indie game I played. Before it was, um. 
before it was anything that I knew about, or that anyone really knew about, for that matter. Uh, this was, uh, yeah, Baldi was like two years ago. I saw Baldi at a store. And then same for Poppy Playtime, yeah. Poppy Playtime was another fucking huge surprise for me because I played it. I remember Huggy Wuggy. I played like a prologue. I was like, right, game's fine. I sucked at it and I blamed the game, which, you know, I'm a dumbass. So that happens sometimes. But I was, yeah, I was just terrible at the game. But I remember Huggy Wuggy, and I remember the animations were really good. That was the thing I, I liked most about the game. Poppy was designed to be popular. I guess so. Yeah, I, I mean... It wasn't anything that made me want... I, I mean, I was the wrong audience for it, but I didn't think, like, this is the best shit ever. I gotta play this when it comes out. So I was really, really shocked to see Huggy Wuggy show up everywhere. Someone said, isn't any game designed to be popular? Well, I'm not really. I think it depends on what kind of audience you're going for. Like, there's definitely games that go for a more niche audience. Like, Slay the Spire ended up reaching a wider audience than I think it was intended, just because the game was so good. But you don't set out to make a card game to set the world on fire. Some people just make games because they want to play them themselves. It's like, this is the type of game that I would play, so I'm going to make it. Which I respect that. The Gollum devs did not want to play their game. That's true. That is true, my... friend. But, um, there's definitely... There's, there's a thing you can do... ...to appeal to a specifically younger audience. Like, again, it's almost like a cheat code. Especially, like, scary kids game. Or, like, scary, um, thing designed for children. So yeah, mascot horror, I guess you'd call it. I don't I don't want to fight that. Not right now. But yeah, I, I didn't really know. I mean, for me, even Five Nights at Freddy's was not something that I understood. Because I I was like I guess I played it when it first came out, and I thought it was called Friday Night Pizza. And I was just like, alright, it's it's kind of a weird horror game where you click on cameras. And it did nothing for me. But there is a generation of people that actually grew up with Five Nights at Freddy's. Like, the lore, I think it's more the lore and, like, how, how deep the rabbit hole goes if you want to continue learning about it. I'm pretty sure that's what made it really huge for a lot of people. But, but yeah, that's just one of those things that did not compute. Well. 
you remember Slender. Yeah, that was another thing. Like, a, a lot of the, the more recent internet trends, like, Slender is getting, by the way, a new Slender. Like, I'm pretty sure there's a new Slender in the works, or like, um, an eight pages graphic update. But, yeah, Slender was another one of those things I played really, really early on. That was, like, one of the first, like, big trend things that I remember during my streaming career, like, happening. Hmm. So, yeah, I can't get this onion... Because it's it's got too many um it requires too many Pikmin. I don't have enough. But um at least with Slender, like I kind of It was fun for a little bit, and then it got real dark. But like I said, I'm pretty sure Slender is getting a revival of some kind. you can use Ochi. Well, how do I even get the dog up here? Recall the Ice Pikmin and run up the wall. Ochi can't get up here. Alright, well, maybe now's not the time for this. Anyway. Call the Ice Pikmin, get Onion, refreeze, have Ochi carry. Oh. Oh, we're on, like, another dimension. Give Ochi more strength first. We can do that. Yeah, chat, like, honestly, me growing up without the internet... I'm trying to think of things, like, there was the cool S. Uh... It was, like, mainly movie stuff. Like, when Scream came out. There was, like, a lot of, um, Ghostface. What else was there? Funny-ass pogs. Yeah, there really weren't, like, you know, there weren't things that just started... The Matrix was huge. Yeah, I mean, there were definitely huge things, but it was more... When the internet kind of happened, there were more things that would just start and b get huge out of nowhere. Maybe that's not true. Maybe maybe it's just always been like that. Honey. Pokemon was huge. Yeah, Pokemon no, was baby. huge. After the forced sleep mode was lifted, he kind of went right back to sleep. He'd been examining a plant that appears only at night. Oh. 
Amarum? That was the medicinal ingredient that Yanni was using in his experiments. Oh. <laughs> Dingo, dr Dingo just drank mold. Castaway may be our pilot. There's a bewitching specimen called Lumi Luminol. It only appears in the dark of night. When the dawn breaks, it releases a sap quite high in degradative... Degradative? Enzymes? You can make a, a medicine out of those. Secretions. No. I just did that in my friendly neighborhood. Alas, our friend Dingo here consumed all the sap I previously collected. Night expeditions, oh boy. Why is dog have only two legs? I don't know. Oh, someone said Friday Night Funkin'. No, I also didn't expect that one to get huge. Super buff. It gives Ochi the strength of 20 Pikmin. Okay, well now I can get the onion. Easily. <laughs> Which is probably pointless, but whatever. Redeem your side quests for more stuff. Okay. Where do you turn those in? Do not redeem! Fuse two onions. Oh, there we go. See? Now I have to fuse three onions. I guess, um, we'll, we'll hold off on the night mission for a minute. I want to get the onion. We can get onion and then probably get everything else here. Oh yeah, he does say uh, pussy sometimes. Push, pushy, pushy. A little weird. Chat, I'm not normally one to bring up, like, um, what other streamers are doing, because I don't really care too much. It's not... You know, I just do my own thing. I've never really fully fit that mold anyway. I kind of tend to just do what I like. But, um... 
there's been discussion about React content, where streamers go and, you know, watch a full video. And, uh... In some cases, like, actually go get something to drink or eat. Oh wait, I still can't do this. Why did I think I could? I do like to watch stuff, but like, yeah, watching like a huge thing without contributing anything transformative. Obviously that, that seems like a big difference. And uh, it doesn't, you know, that doesn't always translate back to views for the person who made the thing. So, I mean, Johnny's really good about crediting people. I try to be as much as I can. But I also like to add something to it. Like, if I'm watching something, I like to enjoy it with the chat. But... Yeah, it's... I can see where there's a problem. I definitely see where there's a problem. This will work. You don't need Ochi. Uh-oh. Uh... Chat, they're stuck on that onion. have a whole lot of worth to discuss in regards to this topic, so I'm just gonna stop. But just know that, um, you know, I, I like, like, something like Price Master or commercials, I try to at least add something as much as I can, because I enjoy doing it. Whistle, you nerd. Okay. Oh, there we go. One day I'll watch Price Master. 2024, maybe? So clearly, this is not the way to get the first blue onion. Like, clearly. Or not the intended way. This game lets you solve problems multiple ways like Zelda. Alright, great. It's easier with the 50 Pikmin limit. No. Oh god, no, 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 silly Pikmin, no. Pikmin dot dot dot. I have one blue Pikmin? Thank <laughs> you. 
Can I not get more blue Pikmin from these these flowers? Usually you can, no? See, now I got one blue Pikmin. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, this, this is what we needed. At a glance, the blue Pikmin appear to have mouth-like gills and are notably able to function even underwater. Thanks to their water resistance and swimming talents, I can now transport things found in the water. Made some blue. See, now I got ten blue fellas. I'll get some more. I guess Ochi's just gonna chill down there. Tadpoles in here. Check the map for any remaining treasure. Yeah, that was my next move, actually. There's a boss fight here, too. like lemmings into shiny metal boxes. There's a guy you never saved. I, I think I needed more uh, blue Pikmin. Okay, so, over here. We, we couldn't save this chap. Wait, why? Oh. I mean, you- yeah, I mean, the, yeah, you can. No need to freeze the water. We got this. New freak has been rescued. Don't worry. So that now there's a couple, there's a couple treasures up here. So we're gonna go back up here. Okay. 
We may have time to do so. Hey Vinny, I don't like this version nearly as much as the one with the big Luigi head and those silly shroom Bickman. Would you consider playing that instead of... Instead for... A deal old fan? I then, I don't know what else, because... It scrolled up too fast. A deal... A deal old fan... You're old? No, I can't play any more of that chat. I, I, I listen. I promised my lord and savior. Jesus Cruz, that I would not do so. Looks like pimply asshole, though. Oh, nice, got a Pokemon card. love a good dirt mound excavation. Don't you, chat? Okay, so there's one more treasure. We could also get Dog to sniff for more, but... Anybody want a peanut? There's hidden treasure, let's see. Also missing a cave right near the beginning. Oh. 
Wait, what's that? Someone stuck in a well at the old Miller's place? I heard this potato say something very interesting. Something like, so Sally can wait, she knows it's too late as we're walking on by. What's all that about? It's weird. Potato! Fucking mega joke. side of the map. I don't know. I mean, if I'm- as long as all the Bickmans is together. Wait, what? 75%? Huh? You can't start a cave during sunset. Pretty sure it's just the one cave. There's also another treasure. Okay, now I can't go in the cave. Did I really not go in here? Base? Ah, uh, too late, man. Fuck. It's fine. It's a small enough area. There's another cave directly north of that cave. So chat, I want to do a night mission. I thought we were like almost 100%. We should be friends, not foes. Oh, did you hear about the, um, the Pikmin gummies? They were recalled for having excessive chlorine in the ice Pikmin. 20 to 30 times the, the amount of, of the safe volume of chlorine. Uh, not, apparently that's real. I don't know how real it is. It's just something I've read on the internet, but there was a parody post. Fair enough. I mean, it's not that hard to fool people into believing something. All they have to do is have an official looking post or a graphic. And if you don't bother to do the, like, follow-up work, you're just gonna believe that there's chlorine in the ice Pikmin. At least I will. Because, I mean, it was something I saw for, like, a second. 
I was like, oh man, chlorine and the ice pick, man, huh? Crazy world we live in. And then I just moved on with my life until just now. would be a good what would be a good one chat homesick subterranean homesick alien look at these freaks all laid out on the floor like that Hello there, Nintendo. Hello there, New Blood. It'll be nice to have fresh subject around here. Since we'll be working together, you can just call me Yanni. No sense wasting valuable research time. I need you to go out on some night expeditions for me. I'm telling you, some of these made-up words are like a slur in some other language. You think Nintendo is going to double-check every bit of garble nonsense that they tell their voice actors to do? There's so many languages on this planet. To be fair, Fry in Splatoon says, what the fuck? Chat, the syllables are bad. So, I, and they don't mean it. That's the thing, they're just saying, they're just Pikmin fellas. Whatever they are, they're like little space captains. They don't know what they're saying. Girl straight up made a song where she says pussy motherfucking pussy. <laughs> WAP 2. I can't believe Pearl wrote WAP 2. <laughs> Protect the luminol until morning. There's the new fella. These little guys weren't here before. Let's observe them and see what they do. New move. These are my new favorite Pikmin. I haven't even used them yet. little guys can protect the luminol together. No. Star-shaped fragment from earlier. Let's call it a glow pellet. Try carrying those to the luminol to see if we can propagate more glow pigment. I'll leave it to you, leave you to it then. They just instantly want to work for me. So Mario Galaxy star bits are in this game, huh? Animal Crossing Star Fragments. Same thing. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, sh- Fuck! Run from the onion!
I could do that. Oh yeah, these these onion fellows are easy. Idle Pikmin, they always teleport to you. Bunny. Interim drop point when transporting glow pellets from far away. It, we call it a trick knoll. Try using it as a decoy and an interim drop point. Oh wait, I can't. Yeah, I can't do that. Um. going for it. Oh, they got it. I strayed too far. No need to be entering caves at this hour. Check on the main one. destroyed all the creatures. Eh? Glow <laughs> sap. Vine sauce. We finally found it. It took 13 years, but we finally found it. They get really hard, Vinny. This is nothing. Okay. Low Pikmin turn into seeds. Bring some back with you. I was really hoping that the chlorine story was true because it was that was fun. I, not that I wanted people eating chlorine, I was just kind of hoping it was real.
You should make Ochi defend the Luminol next time. Vinny, you also fell for the Oppenheimer bomb popcorn containers. <laughs> Alright. A little bit. To promote our film, we're going to be putting bombs in the popcorn. <laughs> No, what it actually was, uh, it was just that there was like a fake post going around about how it looked like atom bombs that you could put popcorn in. But the Mario movie had the question mark blocks. I can only assume the Pikmin took a liking to you, New Blood. You two should get as much help from them as you can. You are helping them protect their luminals after all. I'm not so sure you've got this night expedition thing fully under control just yet. Perhaps I'll go ahead and select the luminals for you to retrieve glow sap from until you are. I can't wait to, uh, wait to see what manner of freak this guy looks like. Actually, not terrible. So you can just do the night missions whenever you want. So, okay, so you have... Every rescue equals another night mission. Makes sense. It eats a day. <laughs> Worth noting that stuff you build in the daytime carries over. Vinny, please pluck the yellow Pikmin that has been there. No ball. Did it. Wait, do I get the glow Pikmin now or no? Put him back in. Chat member, do you put boogers back in? You can use the, the seeds in caves. They say you can't put the toothpaste back in the in the tube, but you can. It's a device that squirts the toothpaste at a high velocity. By that token, yes, you can put the, the toothpaste back in. So a toothpaste repacker. Yeah, it's a very specialized piece of equipment.
nice to be able to swim. Vinny, what color Pikmin would you be? Obviously green. Remember that one chat member that said that green was an uncreative num uh, color? I was gonna say number. This is like years ago. I, I remember that, weirdly enough. I, I That stuck with me. It's just one of those things that doesn't make any sense. Whoa, what the fucker! Oh, you bastard! Is this fish going to cause problems? You know what? I'm not taking any chances. It, it tried to do fish blasts. Oh, you thought I forgot about that bit. I'm just enjoying that I finally get to play Pikmin, so don't... Don't mind me. I may not have the most amount of commentary right now, but I promise you, my brain is thinking. That, and that's really what it's all about. You just want to know that the streamer is thinking. And that's why those React ch channels that can watch an hour-long video and just not say anything... ...can do that. Because they're thinking. You can see it in their face. That's what it's all about. That and friendship. And money. And horseradish. Because that shit is really good. Especially if you combine that. It's- no, but horseradish is not good for everything. Oh, I need that. I need that. When, when you fucking freeze them, then you lose their- you lose their corpse. No, don't kill! only ever wanted the Pikmin to have a nice life.
and to work a lot. These ice Pikmin not want to go do that. No! So much for the corpse. Ice Pikmin, oh, they don't do that. They don't do that stuff. This is why you need proper blues, yeah. Oh, I got the blues, all right. The cicada noise is so nice, reminds me of homes as a chat member. I like the sound of cicadas. I don't like finding cicadas on my face when I'm sleeping. My uncle used to call them ch chikalas. I don't really know why. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's an Italian thing, I think. But I don't know where Chicala came from. I want to increase my Pikmin limit. I know I can do that. Somewhere. Oh, they're getting it eight. Ah, what did you fuck? The fucks. Guy. 
real dog shit Dandori time. I suppose. Hey, Chet, that onion at the top of this little sand mountain, would that give me an increased Pikmin limit, or is that just a bunch of free Pikmin? That's just 20 free Pikmin. Fella, what are you doing here? Stop trying to freeze the water. You- there's- you don't have 80. Okay, we'll do this. This can be done. Earlier chat was trying to tell you green is not creative comment is reference to don't hug me, I'm scared. I don't know what that is either. What's that? You saw it. It is a video series on YouTube. Horror Muppet Show. Like Gartan of Bam Bam? Select a glow seed. It instantly creates a glow Pikmin. They'll only work at night or in caves, so don't forget that. It's legit fantastic. I think you would like it. I do like fantastic things. Hold Y to disband Pikmin. Um, someone said I second Sunday material. Well, again, that's the thing is, I don't really know I could watch a little bit of it. I wouldn't want to watch the whole thing. And even so, I just had that conversation about the thing and the thing, and I feel like... If I'm gonna watch stuff, I like if it's more curated and, uh, you know, it could be put together for a segment. Or if it's just a preview, that works too. Oh god, there is just too much happening right now. Sushi. Cold fish.
Oh, is it sitting on cheese? Or is it a sponge? Ice Pikmin can float, but they can actually die from r water spout traps. Yeah, I've, I've seen that. It, it is a little weird. <laughs> I think I may have assigned too many Pikmin to this one task. Cold running water is the best way to melt ice. You sure it's not lava? <laughs> because I'm pretty sure it's lava. Is this the thing that you suck on? <laughs> it, it, yeah, I think it is, actually. So the ice Pikmin can float on water, but they can't... Yeah, I mean, only the blue Pikmin can actually carry something. this game doing well oh new one you uh doing well means we're gonna get another pikmin game in the next 10 years or eight, less than 10 years that isn't like a pikmin walking game or pikmin sleep or something by the way i will not play that pokemon sleep game that is weird as fuck Data collector sleep. Yeah, it's something about it just seems weird. Like I don't I don't like I read up on it a little bit and it just makes me uncomfortable that this app is recording you while you're sleeping. You can't even turn off the screen, it's stupid. Sounds it. Pikmin 4 sales are not amazing. Aren't they, like, way better in Japan than they've ever been for the series? I mean, that's gotta count for something. Is 
it's still number one on the t on the top of the uh, U.S. eShop. That's great. Deserved. But man, yeah, I... I don't want to play a game where you have to go to sleep to play it. <laughs> It sold better than Final Fantasy in Japan. Interesting. Uh, hang on one second, chat. Be right back. Punished duck. We will save the punished duck. There are multiple ducks. This is the best uh, level in the game. Maybe the whole series. Tell me bubbles can harm Ice Pikmin. Oh. Um, how do I save them? Oh, they just float for a little while. Okay, I was worried they were gonna die in the bubbles. crab. Blackberry? It's a mangosteen? Oh, I've never heard of mangosteen before. They sound so sad. effective. Also, I kind of understand why they wouldn't give you a full Pikmin um, squad immediately like they do in previous games. 
It's like the feeling of building up your army and being able to do crazy shit by, like, crashing Ochi into an enemy. It, it just makes sense to me. Iron fence is lowered. We can save the ducks now. Whoa, 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 whoa! That unleashed some primal fear deep within me, chat. I've, I've like looking under objects as a kid and finding spiders. So this is a good game to get to know the series. I think this is maybe... ...like the best way to get into Pikmin, in a way. Because, like, story-wise, there's, there's not, like, a lot of continuity, which has upset some Pikmin fans, like I said. That was crazy shit. Um, but I mean, yeah, it's it's not really, again, Pikmin, there's lore, there is story, but if you just want to experience the gameplay, this is a great place to start. The problem is, though, I think there's a lot of quality of life things in this game that are gonna make going back to the older games a little bit more difficult. So, I mean, this may be people's, like, only Pikmin game they play until the next one. You know, for the more casual Pikmin fan. I'm more of a casual Pikmin fan. Like, I have two. I completed two. I completed three. Um, I'm pretty sure I finished one, like, years after it came out. Maybe I didn't finish that one. What? But they did, to me, they refined the, the gameplay. Most people think 2 is the best. I think 2 is... 2 is probably the best. But 3 is good, too. I mean, I, I, I enjoyed 3, even if it was kind of short. Though I'm enjoying this, like, just from a gameplay standpoint, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Even if it isn't the best in the series or more, most difficult or whatever, it doesn't really matter. I'm having the most fun with this one. And I'm glad that they brought back caves. I'm a casual Pikmin fan, I beat every game in the franchise. <laughs> yeah, just one time each. He didn't play Hey Pikmin. No, there's- I didn't play any of the spin-offs. And also, keep in mind, there are Pikmin fans who are, like, really, really into Pikmin and have played all of them multiple times. So, yeah, I wouldn't put myself on that level. Like, when it comes to spin-offs, 
I've played more Zelda spin-offs, more M Metroid, Mario, all that stuff. Kirby. Will you finish Pikmin Bloom? I don't even know what that is, dog. Pikmin go app. Oh, it's go for a walk. I'm surprised there haven't been more. You know what? There probably are a lot more. I was going to say, after the success of Pokemon Go, how come there aren't more... Like... AR walk apps, and there's probably been a bunch of them that I'm just unaware of. There's Monster Hunter Go coming out. They they are, and they die fast. Yeah. Well, my interest in Pokemon Go was pretty much over, I would say, a month after it came out. I thought it was amazing for a little while, and I spent a lot of time playing it, and I really enjoyed it. And then I just, yeah, I just wasn't, I wasn't gonna continue. But I know that there are people still playing Pokemon Go to this day. Even after all the dumb shit Niantic has done, I'm only vaguely aware of some of the changes they've made for the better, and then the worse. But, that game has its hooks in a lot of people. Isn't there a Dragon Quest AR thing, too? Uh-oh. That was Japan only. That's why the Pokemon sleep thing is so fucking bizarre to me. It, it's like... It's an idle game. But... You sleep and it listens to you. And it measures how well you've slept. Why not just make a Pokemon idle game? That probably already exists. Also, wasn't Pokemon Sleep announced, like, four or five years ago? And it's just now releasing? 2019 it was announced. Super hard game to develop. Yeah, I know. I mean, did you see all the graphics? But I mean, hey, if you're enjoying it, I don't want to shit on your parade. I just don't. I don't have any real interest in it. More so than that, I, I don't feel comfortable with my phone staying on and recording me overnight. Not that I'm, like, whispering any, like, um, state secrets. You know what I mean? It's not like I'm Oppenheimer. <laughs> it turns out, weirdly enough, chat, it turns out that I say my social security number in my sleep every night. That's so weird.
That and also Pokemon... Like, it's, it's something I enjoy, but I don't... You know, I don't feel the need to play everything they put out. Really, really not liking what's happening here. I can't get them away from the fucking spikes! That's what I should have done. Love those swords so much as a kid. When you sleep, you assume a different persona who knows every Pentagon secret about aliens. I'm alien sauce when I sleep, yeah. I'm just regurgitating all that shit that I read in those books. All contradictory. There's some, like I said, I've been watching that video. I gotta show you the clown ghost. Please remind me before I go, chat, to show you the clown ghost. But that channel, there's like one UFO book author who's like... Of course the experiences are contradictory, but they're, it's about the experience they're trying to give you on a personal level. I don't really know what that means, chat. Every alien abduction is personalized, I guess. How does he know? I don't know, he saw a UFO once. There's probably more to it than that. I, like I said, I, I don't mean to sound overly dismissive about this stuff, because I know some of you believe in UFO stuff way, way more than even I do. But, uh... It gets goofy. It gets real goofy. So, I don't know. I want to believe more, but... I just... It's just a hobby at this point. It's just for fun. And I wouldn't want Pokemon Sleep to know about any of this stuff. Because it's just fucking embarrassing, truthfully. What would Snorlax think of me? Pretty much every decision I've made as an adult can be, like, brought back to what would Snorlax think? probably have told this story before, but did you know that when Pokemon first happened, 
uh, and became huge. I guess it was 98, 99, 98. And it became like this massive fucking phenomenon. And uh, I'm talking about over in the US, of course. This is my own personal experience, but you were lame and baby if you liked Pokemon. Because at that time, my classmates and I were, um, you know, 13, 13, 14. So that, that shit was as lame as you could get, and so everyone that liked Pokemon did so secretly. <laughs> so those that's my overriding memory, and the story I have is that... So, my friend... One of my friends at the time... We were making the, the voices, we were like, you know... It was mainly Smash Brothers that got me into Pokemon, because... Po Um, that's how I started learning about some of the Pokemon, was the original Smash Brothers. But we would make fun of it, and we would make fun of the babies that were playing Pokemon, because we didn't understand it. Meanwhile, we both had secretly bought the game, and didn't tell the other person. Um... That's not good. Only two minutes. The game is generous. The game is fun. Okay, I should know better than to throw non-ice Pikmin at that jelly. But yeah, that's the story of Pokemon. It, it was just like, again, we were at that age where things that were designed for kids specifically were, like, kind of lame. I mean, it didn't matter, we still liked Nintendo, so I don't even know why we thought that, but... There was a stigma, and it's like also the release of the PlayStation, and like the the stigma of um, Nintendo being for babies was like alive and well at that time, even though everyone was still playing Nintendo just secretly. But yeah, Pokemon was the ultimate, like the shits for babies kind of thing. Ochi's whistle makes me feel, like, uncomfortable. I don't know why. It's like... Yeah, it sounds like a scream. But yeah, I actually, like... Just to conclude that, um, point about Pokemon, I remember when Pokemon, and again, I'm not trying to, like, uh, show you how old I am. I mean, that's already apparent. I don't really need to do that, but... It's weird thinking about Pokemon as a new Nintendo series. But that's what it was. That was a new franchise. For me, like, the classic Nintendo stuff was Metroid, Kid Icarus, Zelda, Mario, Kirby. Even Kirby was, like, kind of newish at one point. And I was like, what's Kirby? Kirby's new. But then Pokemon was super new. I say playing Pikmin, which also is a new Nintendo franchise in my mind still. And at this point, Splatoon is what? 
a decade. Almost nine years a decade. It's eight years old. That's not new. <laughs> or that's not really that new. It's just, it's weird how time works. That's, I guess that's the point of what I'm trying to say here. I don't, I don't know. to be a lot less acceptable to have nerdy interests or interest in anything, really. If you were... No, no, no. If you were interested in sports, you were cool. I wasn't cool because I listened to rock. Because at the time, the, the mainstream was, was moving towards hip-hop and rap. So picture, like... You know... Oh, my God. Uh, 10, 11, 12-year-old, like, white kids from middle America, suburbia, listening to gangster rap and thinking... Like, they understood it, and were super, super cool, because they didn't listen to rock music, which was lame. And then, like, even video games. Playing video games was lame. Liking Star Wars was lame. Um, now it's like, as mainstream as you can get, video games and Star Wars. So even lamer. <laughs> yeah, it really kind of changed, didn't it? It went from lame to even more lame because of how mainstream it is. Now, I mean, that's, that's not... Obviously, it's up to you if you enjoy it. But I mean, I still think... What I enjoy of Star Wars... I, I love, genuinely. But, um... What's funny to me is, do you remember... Uh, Red Letter Media... Uh, what's his name? Is it Jim? Red Letter Jim. Jim Maxwell. I think, I think it could have been him. It might have been someone else. Brought their kid, their daughter, to see... Um, it might have been Rogue One or Solo. I forget which one it was. And they said, what was your favorite part of the movie? And it was, uh, they said, when the sick kid got the R2-D2 doll. And they were like, what are you talking about? And it turns out that was an ad before the movie. I don't remember what the ad was for. Maybe like sick kids or something? Like, or a hospital? So they watched the whole movie, but their favorite part was when the sick kid got the R2-D2 doll. It was Duracell. It was a Duracell battery ad. I don't know why I would think it would be a sick kid ad, but you never know anymore. Right, here we go, chat. I mean, I don't really know why I told that story just now. I'm not sure if that fits into my point, but... Maybe it does. I don't really know how to tie it in. It might. Glow Pikmin are great for the candy pop buds. Well, that's just got blue Pikmin in them, yeah? Hang on. Uh, 
Uh, Star Wars is cool, but I've just grown to not care about it because of the drama around it. Star Trek seems more grown up. Uh, Star Trek versus Star Wars is an interesting thing at the moment because uh, I like both a lot. And I still love the, the stuff, the older stuff. But I'm going to say that that's fair. Whatever you like, you like. But for me, I'd say a lot of the new Star Trek has also been like dog shit. And the drama around Star Wars has also... I guess it just depends on, on what drama you're talking about. Like, for me, I just want good movies and TV shows. It's just, there was just too much, though. And there was a lot of stuff that just didn't, didn't work for me. And then there was some stuff that did. But Star Trek, to me, has even had less stuff. And, and then just people looking at the camera and saying, fuck yeah, science, and then crying. So. Hello, hello! But yeah, I like both for different reasons, and I think both can be great. I just hate that Star Trek tried to be Star Wars at, at a certain point. It's like, that's not why I watch this. If I want that, I could watch like any number of other sci-fi thing. I want like ethical quandaries. I want people behaving in a professional manner. I want uh, like moral stuff. I want weird aliens. Slow, good dialogue, well-written scripts. In other words, boring as fuck for most people. But again, all that other stuff exists in every other franchise, so you could just watch that anywhere else. Not that Star Trek didn't have good action from time to time. It did. I mean, Kirk fought a giant lizard man in a suit. But... I don't know. I like... I like cerebral shit. I like stuff that's kind of dumb, if it's done well. But, uh, the reason I liked Star Trek to begin with was because it was more cerebral. I, I agree with that, chat member. But at a certain point... You know, it stopped, uh, being financially lucrative, so they were like, we need to inject Star Wars into this. But, you know, it doesn't matter, ultimately. We live in a post-X world. So none of it matters. Because when it comes to dumb... Nothing dumber. Well, this is perfect timing. Alright, chat. Well, this was good, Pikmin. Thanks for listening to me talk about whatever the fuck I talked about. We went from... Mr. Dink Dog Lore... ...to, uh... ...Star Trek, I guess. That, that's successful stream as far as I'm concerned. I'm tired now. I don't know when we'll pick more Min, but we will. I'm gonna definitely be doing some Final Fantasy soon. And, uh... I'm gonna try to finish my friendly neighborhood. I'll show you the clown ghost, because I really like the clown ghost. I believe in clowns. <laughs> Do you, chat?
th that one kind of looks like Owen Wilson a little bit. Wow. She's dreaming, Pikmin. I'm telling you, Pikmin's sleep is all but confirmed. is good. I I enjoy this game. Thank you for watching. We will um, proceed to the clown ghost. So, if I'm not mistaken... Hmm. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, what was the name of the channel? I'm just gonna type clown ghost and see what pops up. Yeah, exactly that. The Sandown Clown Ghost, 1973. Okay. Really, all I want to show you, chat, is a moment in this video that made me laugh. By the way, I recommend this channel. It's called Think Anomalous. If you have any interest in, like, alien stuff or ghost stuff with good art, it is a good channel. Especially because the, the you know, it's fun. Even if you don't believe it, it's fun. But check this out. So this is about some kids seeing a clown ghost in like a field. Um, also, I really like the art. They're more often told to serve some purpose. Right, but check this out. So, However, but the art is done very... It's <laughs> so there's not a lot of animation. It's got its own style. But here it is. No purpose. And yet she was insistent on its truth, even weeks after it supposedly happened. Like, I don't know, Chai, I kind of really like that. Way, pulling its knees high into the air with every jump. It hopped its way over to a two story windowless <laughs> metal hut, similar to those I used love on this construction clown ghost. sites. The children walked on and got just over 50 yards, or 46 meters, from the hut when they saw the figure standing outside again. Its eyes were simple triangles, and its nose was a brown square. It had paper white skin with a circle on either cheek, and- Yeah, anyway. If you want to watch the rest of it, I recommend the channel Think Anomalous, um, the Sandown Clown, uh, Ghost Clown. But, yeah, I just, I really, uh... ...a wooden footbridge. They like saw an too. odd humanoid figure emerge from under it, wading in the creek water. That's like he was under a bridge. He comes up and then he starts hopping around. Oh, it's wonderful. All right. I'm done. Good night, everybody. I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you maybe soon. Bye. Limit.